Hello, my name is Matthew with Extraction Tech Solutions. I'm here today with Jason with Metativa. We're going to talk about patent pending Libus 1200. Jason was one of the first customers, well actually was the first customer of Extraction Tech. I guess you could kind of say it was your inspiration for it. That's correct. Matt and I had known each other for almost over two years. Um, I moved right when Colorado decided to go for profit and decided to move out here and actually see what this industry would look like and what the possibilities were. And during that time, I had gotten a chance to meet Matt while he was uh, running a CO2 extractor and had built quite a name for himself as an extraction specialist. So, um, kind of been one of my key resources that I began to speak with and kind of look to knowledge from. And, it wasn't too long until after moving to Washington and uh, creating some products and co-collaborating a little bit on a few products that um, I started making my own oils and stuff. Um, Matt was still working on the CO2 extractors at the time and uh, I kept explaining to him, you know, he's like, I can get one of these for you. And I'm like, yeah, it's $120,000 and three face power and a warehouse. And I was like, I, I'm, I'm making like Tootsie Rolls and stuff right now, you know? So, um, but we, we began a serious conversation about what a, what something would what a low cost system would be to be able to, to do um, you know extractions and stuff, and uh, it, it's kind of fortuitous, uh, I guess you could say in some ways, because almost uh, as me as much as I bugged him, there came a day when he finally got a phone call from me. I remember that day so well. Yeah, you might want to. <laughs> I, I woke up in morbid shock after having suffered um, through a 12-can butane fire. And uh, all I can say is it was probably one of the most scary experiences of my life. Uh, never seen a beast like that. You've seen shows like Fire or, or I can't remember what the other one of that, you know, some of those movies were. But until you experience something like that face on, I mean, it's... And the pictures didn't didn't show it justice. It was definitely a, it melted a porcelain toilet. Yeah, it was it was pretty rough. So so at that point, uh, I was traveling around training people on CO2 extractors. I actually stopped what I was doing to develop this machine so that he would be safe. Um, so from that point, uh, it took us about it took me about a week to get a working prototype, and then uh, I had. The prototype was not really that functional. It, it worked. It, it just wasn't pretty. So then we decided to fabricate some different things and uh, we got, got the first unit ready. And uh, Jason actually came out here. Uh, I own another company, Vape. I resell electronic vaporizers. And he came out here to help me uh, on 420 at the Cannabis Cup here in Denver um, last year. And so when he came out, we showed him what I got and uh, he decided that it was time for to definitely take that. And so we got everything set up and I sent him back to Washington with it. That was kind of fortuitous. It was an amazing moment in our company's time. Um, Meditiva, we have a company philosophy do good, and one of the things we've always wanted to do was build a uh, medical cannabis company that could help patients. And once we got the system and were able to, I mean, from blowing tubes, which takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of work, I mean, my, my work capacity almost, you know, was ten times what it was capable of by myself before. So not only did it allow our company to expand, but it actually allowed us in that year to take on over 20 cancer patients that we were able to provide free medicine to. And uh, one of the things that's really exciting is that was a year ago talking about the very first item that came off and learning all the different types of gases and the properties of how the gases work. And me, being the person I always am, uh, chose to pick the harder gas <laughs> yep. to want to specialize in. Propane is definitely has its unique properties compared to a lot of the other gases that, that you've become familiar with and have worked with. And boy, did we spend a lot of time on the phone trying to figure out what was going on and <laughs> with saturation and head pressures. And yeah, but with that conversation uh, and, and the back and forth, it's actually helped us build a better machine. I mean, one of the original things that, uh, that I decided, well, once Jason uh, told me about what happened, and I built the machine. I, I actually was just intending on building the machine for him. Uh, my, my partner now in Extraction Tech, Marcus, decided that uh, we could actually help more people because there was other people that have become more common for there to be house fires and hotel fires. And as you saw earlier, there was pictures of, of different things and articles and, and, uh, and clippings. So we decided that we were, that nobody was doing it as, 
as efficient as we could. Uh, we've got we've got our ETL listing, uh, which makes us the only hydrocarbon recovery equipment with an ETL listing. We uh, we have a pump that's actually made to recover hydrocarbons. Um, and it's, it's one of a kind. It's actually got its ETL listing too. Um, and some of the things that we've done since with all the collaboration and working back and forth with Jason is we've actually made things, made it, the system better. It's uh, been improved quite a bit. Uh, originally we started out with a heating jacket with electricity and so I never really cared for that uh, because you know electricity and hydrocarbons. Uh, the, the, yeah, exactly. What, what happened, what made it come to be is I actually found a small recirculating heater. So I was able to put a hot water jacket on the system. Uh, and I told Jason about this. So we had a lot of going back and forth about temperature and how yeah. much temperature should be down there upon starting the processes and so learning how to fight the pressures between the systems. But Yeah, and Jason decided he was going to get him a, um, a, uh, a bucket of water and a, a, a hot plate and stick the cylinder in there without the uh, hot water, I mean, without the, the electric jacket, of course, but uh, he was like, this works great. So I'm like, man, I can't find a heater that, that, that's, that's inexpensive enough, and then I finally found one. So once we put that on there, I mean, it, that right there took extraction times down, and it had you, uh, helped you temper your material oh, yeah. so it wouldn't it wouldn't get messed up. Once you realize that you didn't need to fight the pressures and the temperatures, that, that was a huge gain in time overall. It was nice. And the, uh, and so that was one of the biggest improvements. Uh, that was the, so then we moved to the second generation. With that, and now we're actually on our third generation. That's one of the reasons he's out here, is to look at all the new improvements that we've done. This just one really excites me because you know, when you're writing volume of gas, um, one thing that happens over time is, the, since I specialize in propane, propane looks a lot like CO2, it's bright orange or pink. But what will happen is over time, running it multiple times, it can lose its color. Um, especially if some of the trim you've run has been a darker trim. Um, and we found out over time that oil has been going back into the bottle and tainting you know, the overall gas. So and now you've, uh, I believe, made some, some improvements that are going to cure that from ever happening again. And, and yep, the, one of the increase the longevity of the gas. <laughs> one of the biggest reasons, um, one, of the, one of the biggest flaws in the machine was the fact that the recovery pump is, uh, they, they kept breaking, the compressors started, started going out of them because people were overfilling them. So, you know, being a person who uses propane a lot, one of the problems that uh, we kept having is after time, our tanks would become dark, so our propane product would go from looking like a beautiful orange, reddish CO2 color to a darker brown, not quite butane, but, you know, getting closer into the butane. And it's taken a long time to go back and forth, but you actually have finally figured out the solution so that now the tank longevity will last longer and, and it'll remain more pure. Correct. So in the machine, you recover all of the solvent you're using. Uh, but in recovering that, what was happening is we, we, we didn't quite know exactly how much gas we needed to use, use and so we established now it's four and a half pounds. Uh, but what would happen is once it drops into the separator, it would uh, kind of froth back up and then start pulling some back into the, to the recovery pump and then from that into the bottle. And so it would puddle at the bottom of the bottle. Um, it actually wasn't until I... Until I it wasn't until I did a lobster shell extraction that I established that that was the case because as you can imagine it's putrescent smelling and so you know I didn't see anything going over but when I the next time I did a run as a demo for somebody and uh, and, and I created lobster wax and, and although it sounds cool it wasn't very cool uh, I decided that you know what I'm pulling more over than just low volatile terpenes so at that point, um, I decided to put an expansion filter in. So the expansion filter has got a heated jacket on it, a heated jacket on it too. So the hot water recirculates through it also. And what it does is it stops any, it basically stops or makes stuff fall out and stops anything from coming back into the care saver, which then at that point stops the uh, recovery pump from getting damaged, the compressors, and having to rebuild them. No, but seriously, but it, I mean the, the fact that you created this. You know, what is it called again? Expansion filter. Expansion filter. Because the whole point is, is the gas goes in. Right. Because that, that's another thing that, that helps gas. So in doing this expansion filter, one of the byproducts of, other than just cleaning it off, it actually, it would, so I use mixed gas. I know he likes to use propane. But in using mixed gas, it was recovery time, about 45 minutes. Now it's, I've shaved 15 minutes off. 
And so the reason is because the gas comes in through you know, a quarter inch hose and then expands into a two inch volume that's heated. So that allows it to be reuptaked quicker. So it was a nice byproduct of the trying to filter the gas. And one of the things that we're going to work on is actually packing the column with different kind of filtering mediums to see if we can actually clean the gas, you know, pure. Yeah, and, yeah. and when you're, when you're dealing with air gas, you're looking at anywhere from three to 500 a tank, depending on what you're using. So Correct. And, and a lot of times, I've, I've just from being such a obsessive compulsive about the quality of the product, I mean, I've gone through a tank a month just to to make sure it keeps its color and clarity. So yeah. you're talking about a major cost saver, and I think I've been through three care saver pumps now or so, right in that range. So definitely the ability to have that. You, I mean, you've done a lot to just save money, time, and long-term investment costs, too. It's, 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 it's quite come a long way. Yeah, so I mean, right now, with being able to do a kilo of material in about an hour, and uh, being able to have the more control than, than anything else uh, out there. I mean, I can control temperature, I can control you know, when I want to pull it, how I want it to look, oil, whatever. I mean, if, as long as you know, you know your techniques, you can definitely do it with this machine and you can do it a lot safer. And one of the things I want to say is why is Meditiva here helping promote and sell the machine when this is what we do ourselves? Because we truly believe that this machine sets a standard for not only safety, but quality control. And the methods that you learn upon getting these machines and the types of extracts, the gases you have to use to go into it, are of a higher quality than what's being blown out of most people's porches. And we're happy and you know excited to see more of these make it into the medical market so that at least we know there's better pure medicines being out there too. So that's something we're passionate about. It's something we're grateful that, that you brought this such a long way to, to you know, be able to do such a thing. Well, see, that's another misnomer that a lot of people have is it's like, well, hydrocarbons, they're bad. I mean, butane and propane and, you know, all that stuff. So that's one thing that a lot of people don't understand. We use pure gas. So we, it's CP grade, so it means chemically pure. We don't use the, it is not using the propane that comes from the hardware store that goes in your gas grill because that has sulfites and captans in it for the smell. Uh, this gas is pure, and if you look up the FDA uh, GARS list, which is generally recognized as safe, it lists butane, propane, and isobutane all on the list, and, and, and they're recognized as safe. I mean, if you if you understand that it's in pan, propane's in pan cooking sprays and propellant, you don't have more exposure to propane lighting a, a cigarette or or anything with a lighter than you ever will come in contact with a machine like this. The, the issue comes from the cans. So the cans you buy from the store, whether it's Vector or, or you know, what are the other ones? Uh, Power 5 or any of these, they're all quadruple billion filtered. So the gas itself, yes, it was filtered and at one point it was pure. The problem is, is inside those cans, you have small fractions of rust and heavy metals. And you also have machine lubricating oils in there. So that when you put it into your lighter, it actually lubricates the jet port so they don't clog. And so once you turn that can upside down and you start running it, it's good. that's going to stay in your extract. And I've seen a lot of kids that are, that, are, that are twitchy after using too much stuff. And, you know, I'm not going to lie, I originally thought it was from the gas. But after looking at it and doing assays on the extracts and totally, under, you know, coming down to understand what's going on, it's the machine oils and the heavy metals. I mean you look at Power 5, it's one of the ones that people use a lot because it's less expensive. And although it is definitely better than Home Depot brand, uh, it's still made in Korea. All right? So... I've cut one of those open and actually looked on the inside of something. Exactly. So why would you I mean, want to put that? Thick, there's a thick gelatinous material on the, on the, the coast inside of those cans. For fact, any of you guys blowing cans, Power 5 X King, take the time when you're done blowing it, and then pop a knife in there and crack it open. And Obviously, we want to do that outside. Outside, of course. <laughs> what I mean is, is you're going to learn that all of these constituents that he says, you're going to you can put your finger in there and feel them. Film Some of them you can even see it caked in there to an extent. Yeah, or you can see rust spots in the well, or you can see metal flakes from the, you know, the inside. I mean, or I mean, there could be, the, you know, typhoid from the uh, from the from the factory in Korea. The dust that's set there. You know, that's what kind of was crazy because as Meditiva, we're a patient-driven company, and our main concern has been about, you know, we 
taking care of patients and making sure there's quality medicine. And mm -hmm. The things you're talking about right there, these types of home-brewed systems are effectively not just kill, they're, they're actually killing the people and making them worse by adding in these chemicals Correct. into their systems. So, I mean, the standardization has to be put in place of, of some sort for the processing and production of these extracts, you know. And we don't want an overall ban. I mean, there, there's, it's like, there's uh, true medicine. yeah, it's true medicine, the extract, uh, all, all the solvent's gone, and then there's no byproducts that we've got. Uh, you know, because we don't use any kind of oils or anything like that. Uh, I mean, one of the things you got to understand is, is um, soybean oil and peanut oil are all made with hexane. Okay, and hexane is definitely some funky stuff, but doing after processes and making sure that it's clean before it goes to the market, it's a very, you know, it, it, it happens in a lot of the things we use. And so with this machine, this is the first step to making sure you don't have any harmful contaminants by using the correct gas. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I, I don't have, I haven't set it up any way to hook to a can, nor will I ever let anybody do it. Uh, for that reason, if, if if people want to do that, then I tell them, you know, my system's not for them. Um, I mean, I think we covered it, man. Uh, it's it's been an amazing experience getting to come out here again after a year, year almost to the date, not too far from it. That's true. <laughs> and uh, you know see where things are at and uh, you know we ourselves have been using this machine we just won the Washington first ever concentrates cup so it's been quite an honor not just in, and I, you know thanks to my mentor here in a lot of ways I would have never known about propane let alone the use of how to use propane in a machine like this and now we've been able to nationally expose it as another extraction material that's of a very high purity and good quality grade something I definitely feel comfortable giving to a cancer or sick patient knowing that it's fully purified and I would have had these abilities or, or, or resources or knowledge had it not been for Matt here so well yeah and you can also I think you can also check out the video on our Facebook and his Facebook uh, it was definitely a very eye-opening experience being able to uh, because you got to understand, it's an oil. So everybody wanted wax and wants shatter and all that. And he actually won the concentrate cup with an oil because it is pure and it is clean. All right, well, thanks for having me here. And I mean, I can't wait till next year. Yeah, then, well, I, I can't wait to send you home with a new one and uh, get the productions and, and so you can fully understand all the new tweaks that we've done. And hopefully, uh, I feel that I've gotten as far as it needs to. It's got everything that I wanted on it, but you know, you never know. There could be changes to come. And I will look forward to that. I'm sure all of you will too. Have a good one. Take care.